I decided to apply to become a Women Man Killer Fellow because I wanted to understand how policy works for tribal nations across the country and how the National Congress of American Indians supports that effort. I applied to the Women Man Killer Fellowship because my best friend from college was a fellow before me and she told me about all the great opportunities I got to work with tribal leaders every day while advocating for tribal priorities on the hill. I applied to become a Womack Killer Fellow um, because this is an organization that I've followed for a really long time. I've known about it since I was a really young person, and it's a place that I've always wanted to be a part of, a place that I've always wanted to contribute to. I applied to the Wilma Man Killer Fellowship because I was interning in Congresswoman Holland's office when I was alerted to the program, and I would still be able to work on Native American policy while in D.C., so I thought it would be a fantastic opportunity. I think the Willamette Killer Fellowship can be an excellent opportunity to begin your professional career within Indian Country. It can be an excellent way to learn more about the national policy issues facing our communities, as well as a lot of the advocacy efforts that go on on behalf of our communities. Um, I would also encourage you to think about how does this challenge you to step out of your comfort zone and really work on uh, skill building. So that's working on potentially things that you've never really had um, an opportunity to participate in, whether that be uh, working with communications and how you get information out to tribal nations. Maybe it's working on how to pass legislation and you've never done anything with that before either. This is an opportunity to strengthen those skills and bring that back to your tribal nation to ensure that their voice is heard here.